Hi, this is Fred Gangi from Hewlett Packard Enterprise and today I'd like to showcase how to deploy HP Nimble Storage DHEI in an existing HP Polaron environment. But first, let's do an overview of what HP Nimble Storage DHEI is. HP Nimble Storage DHEI is a disaggregated hyperge converge platform that delivers the simplicity of HEI with the flexibility of converge. This new platform integrates hyperconverged control with the world's best-selling server, HP ProLion, and the self-managing experience of HP Nimble Storage to uniquely gives enterprise effortless management and self-service with the performance, resiliency, and efficiency needed for business-critical apps. It's intelligently simple with native full-stack intelligence from storage to VMs and policy-based automation for virtualized environments. It's ready for business-critical apps with absolute resiliency with over 6.9 of measured data availability and some millisecond of low latency at consistent high performance. And it's built for efficient scale with the ability to independently scale compute and storage non-disruptively with industry-leading data efficiency guaranteed. That's enough with the high-level marketing pitch. Let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the demo. I will deploy a new HP Nimble Storage DHA infrastructure in an existing HP ProLion environment. So first, I start with the Nimble Array initialization. So I enter the serial array.local to start the configuration. Once it's discovered, you have to accept the ULA and click Proceed. On the next screen, you click Next. And then I have to provide a rename, management IP, netmask, default gateway, domain name, set a new password, and set a group name as well. So after that, you click finish, and then you just have to wait for the initialization to complete. After the Nimble Array initialization, you have to log in using the new password to complete the configuration. I have to create two different subnet for iSCSI traffic and provides IPs accordingly. Once it's done, I just have to click next. So now I assign the correct subnet that I just created to the correct NIC card and I provide diagnostic IP for each controller and then I click next. So I had my DNS server that I would like to use, click next and do the same for the MTP server that I use in my environment and I click next. Now I just review the support information and click finish. So after the initialization, I click on continue and then I'm redirected to the stack setup. So the first page is really the welcome page. I review it and then I click next. After that, I select use an existing vCenter and I provide the credential accordingly. So I have to provide the host name, the username, password, and then I have to click on the VMware EULA to review it, acknowledge, and then I click next. After that, I select choose an existing cluster from the vCenter. I select the cluster and I provide the root password of the node. And then I click Validate Server Configuration. Behind the scene, what it does is it log in in the vCenter and in each server, and it scan the actual configuration and it compare it against our best practices, our rules that we have. It will give you a quick report of what you would have to change in your environment. As you can see, I have four major violations in my environment. So I must fix this before I can move forward with the rest of the deployment, which is exactly what I do here. So the problem is that my existing server don't have access to the data path of the Nimble Array. So I create the VMK and the vSwitch accordingly to fix the issue. After I'm done with creating the networking, I go back to the stack setup and then I click validate server again to make sure that the major issue 
are now resolved. As you can see, I don't have any more violation in red, so I can move forward with the rest of the deployment. In the hand new server, essentially you can add any new HP ProLiance system that are DHEI compliant. In this example, in this demo, I don't have any uh, new ProLiance system, so I just click next to move forward with the rest of the deployment. So here I provide a password for an ILO admin user that we create as part of the DHEI deployment. So I provide the password that I would like to use and then I click next and here you can migrate VMs to any new data store on the Nimble Array. So first you have to create a new data store. In this case, I create a VMFS data store. Then I provide the data store name that I would like to use. I provide the data store size and I select a protection template for my data store. And then as you can see, now the, the, the data store is available on the list. I click next and then I review the information and then I click finish. And after the setup, you can log in in your vCenter environment and start managing your DHEI environment using the vCenter plugin that we have. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about HP Nimble Storage DHEI, visit hp.com slash storage slash DHEI.